So let's have a look at all the different footworks Felix Auger Aliassim uses in this point against Sinner. Now, this video is courtesy of PTSO on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. So that was a fun point. Let's go shot by shot here with Felix. This right here, what Felix is hitting is called an open stance step back. What does that mean? He is going to move to his left while turning to his right. Watch. He turns to his right, but he's moving to his left. And he's doing that by sliding out of the way. We don't see his feet because it's below the partition. So the camera person was just showing above the partition. So we cannot see the feet. But we know what he's doing because he's stepping back with his left leg right here. That gives him an open stance, and you can see he's in the open stance as he jumps up as he's striking the ball. Let's go to the next one. So right now we've got an open stance here, right? We, got, we kind of keep a tally mark. Um, so we got one for the open stance. Here is a neutral stance. Uh, super common on a backhand to be neutral or closed, uh, and the feet are basically in line with the net. It's slightly closed, you could say, but it's very much neutral, and he hits without falling out of it or move, you know, pivoting off of it. He basically just stays in the neutral stance. Now, this is a fun one. Even though we don't see him as he's hitting the ball, we do know what footwork he's using. First off, he's stepping with his left foot right there, and I want you to watch how his right foot drags. See how he's dragging that right foot? By dragging the right foot, we know he's using a mogul stance. And we'll see a mogul stance later on here. But a mogul stance is where it's an open stance, but you hop, basically. Not jumping up in the air, but you kind of hop to the side in the direction you're moving as you hit the ball. But that was out of the screen. We could not see it. So here is a closed stance. You don't see this super often on the forehand, but it's especially popular with the pros on a low ball. So you can watch Sinner hits a slice backhand, so that ball is going to skid and stay low. So Felix is going to get down to that ball by actually stepping forward with his front foot and using a closed stance. This is exactly the stance to use on a very low ball in your forehand. It's closed because his legs are very much in line with the camera people, right? So when you're in this situation, it's important that you take your back leg and swing it around. So this is what is called a closed stance fallout. So he falls out of it with his right leg since he's moving off to the right. So he actually finishes in an open stance. So when you're in a closed stance, you wanna finish it in an open stance. And you do that by pivoting on the front foot. The reason is so that your hips can turn. So if we actually look at Sinner here, I wasn't planning on this, but I, I think I'll show you a couple shots from Sinner. This is a mogul stance. So watch how he steps into an open, right foot on the right. Definition of an open stance is right foot on the right, left foot on the left. And watch how he does a hop. So he kind of hops on that right leg. Um, and it's a great stance to use when you're on the move and you want to be able to recover quickly. And here is Felix doing the same thing. He's in an open stance, and then he kind of finishes in an open stance as he's striking the ball. This, by the way, is called um, a back foot pivot. So he gets on his back leg, and yes, are you supposed to always you know, lean forward into your shots? No. You are supposed to, in certain situations, move backward and just embrace the fact that you're moving back and don't feel the need like you've got to go forward. There's so many coaches who are always talking about you've always got to get your body weight going forward. I don't know who they're watching, but they're certainly not watching the pros because the pros very often are moving backward or moving to the side as they're striking the ball. And they're doing that because that's all they can do. And if they try to get their body weight to go forward, their shot would actually suffer. So sure, would everybody love to have their body weight going forward? I guess. Yeah, but that's just not reality. And so we can see it was a really deep ball by FAA and Sinner's actually getting pushed back. 
And so this isn't a bad thing. This is actually how you hit a really great shot. You actually pivot off that back foot. Now he's having to go back really fast. So his right foot does not stay on the ground. It actually jumps as he hits. But if he was going back a little slower, he can actually keep that back foot on the ground and just swing his left leg behind him as a way to turn the hips. So we'll keep going here. Here is a slightly more closed stance than neutral. And this is a fallout. You can see it's a closed stance and then his left foot comes around. So there he finishes in an open stance. We go to center. That's a closed stance. Let's see if he does the fallout. Yeah, not really because he's pretty stationary. Here's a closed stance and a big fallout. Beautiful stance there by Felix. Again, closed stance and fallout. You, again, when you are in a closed stance, try to figure out how to get your, turn, your hips to turn, and you do that by bringing that back leg around. Hip turn is so important. So here's an open stance, and that is a mogul. So he plants on the right foot, and then he hops. And that's a great thing to do when you're on the move. So when you're on the move and trying to hit an open stance, you just hop and you can see his weight goes back on that right foot again. And then he shifts it to the left. Here though, he gets Sinner in trouble because Sinner is going this way and then Felix gets him. So Felix hits, hits behind and you'll notice as soon as he hits behind, watch Felix go forward. See that? It, it, like Felix this whole time was back here. He was always behind the baseline. But he wrong foot sinner. He sees it and you see, he sees sinner going for a slice stretched. And that's when Felix goes, ha, I got him. And he goes forward to try to get up to this ball. And then this is a neutral stance. Neutral stance. And obviously, oh, this is called, by the way, a front foot pivot. So he's pivoting on his front foot. And that is a great stance to use when you want to go forward with a ton of control. Obviously, in this situation, Sinner is going to guess, so he, he happened to guess the wrong way. Now, if you'd love to use the same strategies the pros use to win their matches, then you got to pick up the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. It's all broken down by the type of opponent you play against, and it's over 50 pages, strategy after strategy, and what's really cool is each page comes with a QR code, so you can watch a video of exactly how to use each strategy. Just use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Player Court. And it's playercourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. If you would like me to analyze your match play, send me a video of you playing to ryan at twominutetennis.net and then go to my website, twominutetennis.net, and sign up for a Zoom private lesson. This is where I meet live with you and I go over your match strategy, sharing my screen, showing you everything on how you can gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2minutetennis.net. You got this.